go boots have roots. Uh, this is just like uh, Fikes's coffee and outdoor chat or something. I'm I really honestly don't remember the name. Outdoor lunch and coffee chat or outdoor stuff and coffee chat. Yeah, yeah, something like that. This is Sam, and Sam's my son, and this is the first video we're making like this, because I don't know what I'm doing with the videotape and stuff. Sam does, so he's running it. So, the kids are just to just so what we're going to do is, <laughs> Sam was like, what do you want to do? I said, well, you know me, well, first of all, I want to make one of these videos. And I like building fires, so let's build a fire. Let's do like a how-to on how to build a fire, and we'll review this little stove at the same time. So, all right, here it is. I can't remember the name of it. Solo stove. The things you're gonna need if you're gonna like make a fire is a fire kit. You can use any kind of box. We're using an Altoids box for this, but so this thing is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So it just drops down inside itself. You saw us. We pulled out some matches. We pulled out our little fire tin. Was there still some? Uh... Yeah, there's rope and there is there's a rope, uh, tiny lighter thing, I think. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and open it up. Yeah. So, so then this is the stove. It flips upside down, but when you get ready to use it, you just lift that up, flip you it over. Put a pan on it. Yep. It's got these feet right here. One, this two, three. Got rope. Let you put a pan on top. Flint. Cannot remember what this is. So it's it's a little piece of uh, cotton, stuff. cotton, and you oh, spread okay. it apart, cotton. and it's it's used to catch a flame. And then this is a. That's just a lighter. Got that one. An ever stroke. Got it. Ever strike is the brand of it. It is a lighter. Anyway, yep. So you put your get your fuel, your everything ready to go down in there, light it, and then see it's got an opening, you continue to add fuel into it. So that's what we're now gonna do. Now you don't have to like lift up your pan or whatever you're cooking on and then put it in there to stop the cooking process. You can just stick it in there with a stick or something. Oh, that's good. We got a couple good matches in there. Yeah. Alright, so what we started doing is we went out and gathered uh, sticks. Now it just got through raining. It rained really good this morning, so not really sure how good this stuff's gonna burn, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. We got some jute twine. This is one of my favorite things to use for uh, lighting up, <laughs> getting the fire going, because um, you can carry a lot of it pretty easily. So. Uh, you have, uh, what are the three levels of, of fuel? There's kindling, mm -hmm. tender, mm -hmm. and fuel. There you go. The so, kindling is, I think, the little stuff? No. Nope. No, that's the tender. The tender yep. is like little stuff like pine needles, leaves, whatnot. Tender, no, kindling. This, kindling. Will, be, this will be tender. Yeah, the tender will be the rope. Kindling is like the little sticks. Yep. Or the bigger sticks, like this, I guess, yep. kind of. And then the fuel is like the big, like, logs and stuff if you're going to make an actual fire. Or if you're going to make, like, a small cooking fire, it can be just as big as this. I think it's unique. Alright, so. But, that is enough. What we're going to do is finish unraveling this a few times. Just like this? Yeah, you know how we do whenever yeah. we get ready to yeah, yeah, yeah. do the fire. Making sure I know how So, what we normally do is we just unravel it a bunch, like, get it nice and unraveled with that, and then we stick it in there, we'll light it. So, some other things you can use if you're out, uh, if, you, if you're in the hill country, there's a lot of cedar trees, that cedar bark strips off the, strips off the trees and you can... You can rub it in your hand. It gets real fibrous like this, and you can uh, you can do the same kind of thing with it, and it'll start. So what tinder does is, if, if you're unfamiliar with this kind of thing, 
if you know if you've built fires before, you know what you're doing. This is this is an old hat. You don't you know you don't need us to explain it to you. But if you've never done it before, the tinder is what's gonna we're gonna use it to catch a spark, and it's gonna burn. It's gonna burn fast, um, and we want enough that it will burn to catch our kindling. So there's some other things we can add to it. There's some other things you can use beside this. Uh, some things you could take with you. Um, you could take dryer lint. You know, a little bag of really dryer good. lint. That works real well. Dryer lint. Okay. So, we also have with us uh, a knife. And a stick. Yeah. Alright. So this is uh, carbon steel. And this is our uh, striker. When we pull it, it's going to create sparks. And when I first started doing this kind of thing, my motion was I hold, I held this, the, the steel and I pushed the knife like that to throw the sparks. My biggest problem was getting the sparks to the fire without hitting it and knocking it all over. I finally learned through some advice and watching some other guys hold your knife real close to it and pull your steel back to you. Instead of pushing your knife, pull your your, your uh, striker steel or your whatever. And I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna like that yet. But it does, it accomplishes the same thing. And it pushes and so your knife stays still and it doesn't slam into your fire or your uh, kindling and, and tinder and knock everything apart. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and light our tinder and then drop it in there and then I'm going to I'm going to set the rest of this around it to catch and then as it catches we'll slowly start adding the bigger and bigger stuff to get going. The channel is called Fights Outdoors and Coffee Chats. Fights Outdoors and Coffee Chats. Figured chat. it out. There you go. Alright so we Sam's got one also. It's nice. Come with a stick. Just... Alright, so what I told them was we were what we were gonna try. Yeah, let's set this right. Is I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try and get this lit. Okay. Then I'm gonna dump it in there and then if you'll have this ready and we'll start we'll just set this on top and see if Got you can it. get it caught like that. Got it. Right. Any problem? Work smarter, not harder. Alright, you ready? But that's the thing you'll hear us say a lot. Smothered, okay. but you no, no, you did good. Oh, we got some All right, all right, so let's stop that real quick and we'll come back. Okay, so. That didn't take. This is what the inside looks like. Uh, I figured out, I think the better thing to do, we're gonna take this off this time. And Sam went to go get some dryer lint. We're gonna show the same thing with dryer lint. Okay, so I showed you guys the inside, what it looks like. And uh, this is, we got some dryer lint. And now what we're gonna show you is just what it looks like when it catches. So here, we'll better do it down here. Come on, we're too happy we did that on our team. Alright. We're gonna use dryer lint this time instead of the string. It's a lot better than the string. Because the dryer lint, as you saw, was working a lot better and a lot longer. It's still smaller than the Yeah. Mom is not good yet. No, nah, she won't. As long as we don't stay on the table, it's not a big deal. Alright, so, you want to light that? Sure. This time? Now, can you light it and pick it up and put it in there? Yes. Okay. Not the Okay. 
You want me to do that part? Yes. All right. You. All right. Get it lit. Yeah, put it together. Yeah, pull it up against the knife real hard. Now look, here, look, look at your view. So see how that's real shiny? That's all the floor. All this is the, the coating. Well, this is no coating right here because I'm already rubbing it off. Can you try? You can only do it like third try at least. So now we got it going. We're going to start laying some sticks in there. And you don't really like some people tell you put them in a pattern like a TP or whatever. I've learned from experience you don't have to do that. You just need to get them in there and get them going. And that's really what counts. Sticks are catching. Now we got sticks catching. The sticks are catching. And now we can kind of start adding some of this other stuff to it. Some That's of these big ones. Here, we'll put that on in just a minute. Let's get it going first. Like Sam was saying earlier, one of the things you want to be careful about is you don't want to smother your fire. So and another thing to, stay, to have handy. It needs to stay you open in there with so air can circulate. That's what these holes are for, is to be able to draw air in. This is a very good stove. Alright, so now we got our fire going with our little stuff. We can kind of start adding bigger stuff to keep it going. <clears throat> if we're going to cook on this, we don't want things so big that they stick it out and we can't get them in there. And like anything that's like hot. that, and holy cow, that's hot. But you can like, push on it and stuff. And it'll balance perfectly. The fire's coming up out of the top. It looks like a good cooking fire. And another thing you need handy whenever you make a fire is a poking stick. I've got a good stick in my room for long, for big fires, but that's fine. All right, so this is what we got going down inside there. All right, you got it. Mm -hmm. A nice little, so little stove fire. As I said before, this stove is really good. There's the, there's the name, the logo right here. It's really good. The cooking top, as you can see. Anything else? Helps keep the mosquitoes away. Yeah, fires help get rid of mosquitoes. Rain does not. <laughs> Rain does not. That's why we were having trouble with mosquitoes. And there goes all our sticks into the fire. Good looking. Now the stove obviously is going to be hot to the touch. So you don't want to just be moving it around unless you got something. To, unless you got uh, like gloves. It it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty warm. But as you need to go, because when you set your pan down on there, as you need to go, you got a good opening. You can just keep feeding fuel in there while you go. It's got a good look. Okay, so. Uh, just to let y'all know, uh, the knife we were using today is uh, a Habilis bush tool, H-A-B-I-L-I-S. Comes, It's the knife and the sheath, and then it comes with a ferro rod. Uh, that's what I was trying to think of earlier when all I could say was striker or steel um, was a ferro rod. So, and then when you put it, it's just nice and easy. It's got an elastic strap that you put it together, bring it up. You can carry it. They've got uh, different configurations for you to carry. Um, you got a dangler if you want to carry it on your belt that way. You can carry it scalp style across your belt like that. So. I want to make you smile. These old boots want nothing more than to walk you down the aisle. These old